Does it make sense to save three fifty? Right. To do all these things. Take care, bunch of chicken. Say hello to everyone out on Hollywood Boulevard. Uh oh. JL with the Gretzky hand standing up. He's gonna raise here. He's gotta sit down. He's got a good hand. I think he's gonna raise large here. I would go for about six hundred worth. But he's gonna go probably end up go a little smaller. Race. We're trying to make this big and sit down right now. And I want definitely want to be heads up and not multi way. So six hundred minimum. Seven hundred total. Goes for seven. Come on. It remind me after this or before I leave. <coughs> See my hand. Dad's worried now. Everybody has folded except for Cupcake Carlos. Will he defend? No, no, Alex. <laughs> Alex is still in. You're right. Hand was covering his cards there. He fooled me. Ace three suit. And he is in position. He's on the button. He knows JL wants to be doing this to sit down. One of the final two players remaining. So perhaps a large four bet in play from Alex. But he's going to hate to put in a four bet and then have JL rip and have to lay down the ace three. So weird spot here for Alex. So he just flats makes the call. That might invite Cupcake Carlos to seek three as well. You can use your hand. Yeah, I got one that's like really like warped here now. So, but this this yeah, Pierre, are, Pierre, yeah, are, these are these are very yeah. strong. But Pierre Pierre like yeah, broke one yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, he broke one yesterday. Uh, yeah, I probably I probably will. Sorry. Cupcake does indeed close out the action. Makes the call. And now Alex is in the lead. That's why I won't stay up for one. I mean, you didn't even, like, hit it that hard. You just kind of, like, you were just, like, yeah, you were just, like, easy. Yeah, this one, I was just, like, this. But it was, yeah. You could tell all the look on your face that you were not intending for that to happen. I'll be on the highway. I'll, like, wake up. There's no one around me. I'll be on the highway. It's hilarious. Yeah, for sure. Set for JL. And what a it up. gift from the poker gods here on the turn. Alex been running pretty poorly today on stream. And it looks like Cupcake Carlos is going to lead here with the bottom pair eights. No, he checks. Everyone else trying dead now. The check mark for JL, the miracle nine of spades. <clears throat> They're saying. JL taking a lot of time here to act on the turn again. Now he's decided on a number. 1,200. It's a good size here from JL. Yes, he wants to sit down, but yes, he would love somebody to call him too. Yeah, this is the best hand he's had all day. Wants to extract a little bit of value from it. And Alex has just been put in these really tough spots all afternoon. Does make the call? Yes. Just calls. Just calls here, and Cupcake Carlos making it look like he has a tough decision, but he really doesn't. He's got 3K effective. Easy lay down from him with all this action. Gets changed from Mad Hatter, does Alex. Now we're going to the river, and let's hope and pray it's not an ace or a three for Alex. Perhaps there's some roads to an exit. JL loving life, and it is a three. Ooh, two pair now for Alex. And that's trouble. It was trouble when he called. The check mark was already is, done. Yeah, perhaps there were roads to an exit, though, but I don't think there's going to be any folds from Alex here, no matter... What the sizing is from JL here. And if I'm in JL spot here, I'm going very, very large. Might even consider an overbet jam. He checks. And, yeah, that's. Hoping and praying that Alex was maybe on a diamond draw and missed and would bluff at it. But when you are one of the last two players standing here, I don't like this check at all trapping. I want your to turn your hand and make it look. Very, very bluffy, like you're trying to sit down, you don't want to lose. 4,000? 4,000! 
Yeah, and that's going to get snapped. That's crazy. He's, he goes all in. Yeah. Uh, it worked out here for JL. I mean, <laughs> Alex took the bait. Wow. Alex probably thinking he had the best hand, too. He was doing that for value to maybe target like an ace jack, uh, so an ace 10, etc. It was a value bet. It was a value bet, yeah. This was gross. He thought he had the best hand, so. It was sure. a value bet. Uh, 14. So if JL would have just jammed there, 16, led river and jammed, Alex would have called. Alex never ever folding, uh, so. Now he's going to lose. He can't. Can't really fold this pot's too big. You've put in so much money. Showing he's got 1890 behind. Yeah. Makes the call. Holy gonna shit. see the bad news. Yeah. Yeah. JL's gonna sit down. It's, it's just a disgusting river card for Alex. Yeah. It really is. And Dad is gonna pay fifty dollars to everyone for being the last one standing. Thanks, what a hand there. Uh, one of the biggest hands much. of the night I'll there. Sixteen point three goes to JL. Friday afternoon, early evening poker here from the Lodge in Austin, Texas. About 20 minutes from the airport, folks. Come on down, check it out. Have a exciting week or weekend in the Austin Round Rock area. We have hotel deals and plenty of poker action. That's just waiting for you guys to come see for yourselves. Ace Jack suited for Jay Win here. He's been pretty quiet tonight. Really hasn't gotten out of line. Hasn't had much to work with with either. So. The ace jack suited one of the best hands he's had in a while, and the price is 125. Matt Hatter has the sneaky 4-3 of diamonds, and he's gonna fire in a three bet. So Matt Hatter taking some interesting lines, aggressive lines. Jay Wing going nowhere for that price. The three bet's a little bit too small for a fold, and Jay Wing might even consider a four bet. Definitely not folding. Will at least see three with the suited ace jack. So let's see what he wants to come with here. Four bet or flat. Don't think a fold is in the cards for him. Has about 6K behind. Nine. And does fire in the four bet. I like the four bet. Good sizing from him. 900 is the cost. And the, uh, the joke's up, really, if you're a Mad Hatter. You are in position, so... Perhaps you want to flat and see three with a very sneaky and under rep four three of diamonds. Whoa, asking for a count. Don't think Mad Hatter has the nuts for a five bet here with four high. That would be spicy if he does come with a five bet with a four high. That would be boss worthy, but his hat is off. He loses all of his power. Jay he takes his hat off. Jay Wynn would fold to the five bet. But he just flats, so here we go. We're going to have ace high versus four high, clubs versus line, right? diamonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's dance. Alex providing a – Matt Hatter here providing a lot of action. And look Ooh, at this flop. Diamonds. Look at this flop. Top pair. The flop that we all dreamed of is here tonight on table 11. Under the lights. Diamonds for Matt Hatter. Top, top for Jay Wynn. Like and subscribe to this video and all videos right. because we have plenty of action. And here we go. I don't know. They're still looking. They're still looking, I think. You don't call a four bet with four high and then head for the hills on this flop. I mean, I don't think I dropped it anywhere. All in. All in here for the Mad Hatter. Can Jay Wynn get away? No way. No. No. Not a chance. No, he can't. He's calling. He'll think about it, and as he should be thinking about this. This is a four-bet pot. But he, he's not going to lay it down. No. But Jay Wynn's a professional. He takes his time. Analyzing the situation here, sizing up his opponent, seeing what they're capable of, doing some inventory on your stack. But when you've been pretty card dead all night and you four bet and you connect with your ace jack on a board like this, you, you're, you might be a little bit worried about deuces or eights, but would you ever be ripping a set like this? Uh, un unlikely, but, but possible, yes. Would queens maybe take this line? Pre-flop and not elect a fire in a five bet. I'll be quick. I, I'll He's calling. Call, I'll be really fast. 
even with the call, it's a 60-40. You could be worried about a 9-10 of diamonds type of holding. See, in America, we offer other people stuff that we want to go, but we can't understand. Jay one will ultimately find the call here, and we're going to have a pretty massive pot. I watch love it. <laughs> The Lodge live stream, folks. Friday night poker from your favorite poker channel. Help us get to 100K subs sooner rather than later. We're almost there. I can taste it. And we're almost there for a turn in river because Jaywin cannot lay down this ace jack right now. Might be, maybe he's randomizing in his head here, running some equity percentages. But you can't fold the ace jack here. You just can't do it. He makes, makes the call. Makes the call, yeah. He, there's no way he Brand. was going to fold. I think we're going to run this baby Quintain once. Jay Wynn feels good. Jay Wynn likes running it one time. Up to you, he says. They're going to run it twice. <clears throat> no help for the Mad Hatter here. Need a diamond. Doesn't, Doesn't get it, but we're running it twice. Is there a red diamond for the Mad Hatter? Nope, not yet. Okay. Scoop, scoop. Scoop a loop for Jay Wynn. And Matt Hatter takes his hat off and throws it to the corner. Hey guys, Andrew Nimi here. And I just wanted to quickly tell you about my favorite place to play poker in the world, the Lodge Card Club. The Lodge is a social club in Austin, Texas. And it's actually one of the biggest poker rooms anywhere. I mean, in the world. It has 80 poker tables available, running both tournaments and cash games. And just because it's one of the biggest, it doesn't mean it's not a friendly place to play. The Lodge prides itself on being both extremely professional, as well as one of the friendliest places that I've played anywhere. Every single day, there are lots of cash games to choose from, whether it's No Limit Hold'em or Pot Limit Omaha, or the occasional mixed game that you like to play. You can find it at the Lodge, and there's also at least two tournaments that run every single day. And again, those are just the daily offerings. That action can be found every single day. You can check out the full tournament schedule and all these cash game offerings by heading over to our website, thelodgepokerclub.com, or just type in Lodge Poker into Google. You'll find your way there. Hope to see you down at the Lodge. Take care.